it's just quite amazing. That's a lot of, but only 43,000 people work on this thing. So, but the 43,000 people are not those people you manage them. You don't tell them exactly what to do. These are the highly educated, creative, entrepreneur thinkers, all those people. But what do they have in common? If you think about this, what entrepreneur means? So we are basically facing a big switch from preparing traditional employees where you have to make them non-creative, acquire a set of common knowledge and common skills almost at the same scale. You don't want them to be too creative. I said, you know, no one wants a, a car assembled by Lady Gaga. Imagine that. That's, uh, no one wants that. Uh, Henry Ford would have hate to hire her. You know, that's a bit, I don't want you here and go away. But now, we need to move. It's because those employee-oriented jobs truly are gone. Automation, outsourcing. Lots of people are waiting for those. That they don't require a lot of education. To this education has been deliberately cultivating entrepreneurs. The term of entrepreneurs has traditionally used to be very narrowly defined. Mostly defined as people who try to profit you know, from something, make some money as business owners necessarily. Now it's been changed a little bit. It's expanded to include both business owners as well as those who want to maximize the profit in terms of social justice or social impact. We call them social entrepreneurs.